House Democrats are publicly trolling Republican Congressman James Comer after recent reporting revealed that Comer is desperately trying to wrap up his failed sham Biden impeachment inquiry in a way that allows him to save face as Fox News abandons him. Good luck with that, James. But before we unpack all that, if you end up liking this video and you want to support the channel, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and alert bell before you go. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, friends, we have a couple of clips to look at in this video, but the centerpiece is actually this article from CNN uh, reporting that involves Republican insiders, a, a bunch of Republicans who actually spoke with CNN, many of whom on the condition of anonymity, in which they reveal their frustrations with uh, James Comer, Jim Jordan, and Jason Smith's failed sham Biden impeachment inquiry that they're now desperate to try to wrap up, Comer in particular, as the Fox Propaganda Network and Sean Hannity in particular is basically abandoning Comer and leaving him to the wolves. But I want to remind you that Comer has a lot of bravado on this. And even in the most recent uh, House Oversight Committee hearing, he seemed to dangle the idea that uh, he still wanted to impeach President Biden, even though a lot of reporting indicated that that wasn't going to happen. Number two, I would like my time restored. And number three, no, you have, you have not identified a single order. crime. No. Well, what is the crime that you want to impeach Joe Biden for and keep this nonsense going? Well, Why? Well, well, what is the crime? Tell America right now. You well, you're you're about crime. to find out. What very is soon. the crime? You're about to find out. Name very it. Soon. So after 15 months, James Comer still can't publicly reveal exactly what President Biden has done uh, that is an impeachable offense, a high crime and misdemeanor. He still can't do it. The best he can do is try to tease it out. You're about to find out. Nobody believes you, James. Especially after again this recent reporting just came out today. It's called How the House GOP's Biden Impeachment Effort Fell Apart. And we're going to dive into this because, folks, remember, even though you think it's stupid and I think it's stupid, this is the one major consistent political project of the House Republican majority since they took that majority in 2023. 15 months, this is all they've done. They haven't tried to produce legislation, meaningful legislation, which would benefit the American people or even their own constituents, because that would have required them to work bipartisanly with President Biden and the Democrats. And that would have been seen as a political victory for the president and Trump and MAGA Republicans couldn't abide that. So this is the one thing that they've done, and it's been an exquisite failure. So we're going to look at this. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer was eager to take the reins of a high stakes investigation into President Biden and his family, seen as central to the House Republican agenda, coveted perch that brought the added benefit of elevating his national profile. And as we've discussed, Comer is not media shy at all. He loves a camera. He loves a microphone. He loves going on the Fox Propaganda Network and OAN, unless they push back on him for any reason. Then he complains about them to the other networks. Like when Fox and Friends started to ask tough questions of James Comer, he stopped going on and would talk about Fox and Friends and the Fox Propaganda Network to Newsmax. It's just real mean girl stuff, real high school drama. But after 15 months of coming up short and proving some of his biggest claims against the president, I would say most, if not all, are being very generous here. Comer recently approached one of his Republican colleagues and made, made a blunt admission. He was ready to be, quote, done with, end quote, the impeachment inquiry into Biden, according to the lawmaker who relayed the conversation to CNN. Comer has grown increasingly frustrated as his investigation appears to be at a dead end, with Republicans resigned to the reality that they don't have the votes to impeach the president, multiple sources with direct knowledge of the situation, told CNN. It's not exactly surprising, as we've discussed you know, uh, there are 18 Republicans in the House of Representatives who represent districts that President Biden won. So they voted for these Republicans and they also voted for Joe Biden. And this impeachment effort does not have popular support, not even from a plurality of Americans. There was more support by far for the impeachment efforts against Donald Trump, both of them, than this one against President Biden. So why would these 18 Republicans in swing districts, in swing districts risk the wrath of their voters during an election year? Makes no sense. I want to play this clip, too. This is uh, from Democratic Congressman Garcia during an interview with uh, Ben Micellis of Midas Touch. This is him talking about the approach the Democrats have taken to try to make James Comer's life a living hell during this failed sham Biden impeachment inquiry. And it's just great about that. Well, I mean, first, James Comer should be totally embarrassed. I mean, we we shame him every single week. We put him on blast every single week. Um, you know, it's 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 funny because I think that he understands. He I think dreads coming to committee meetings. Actually, he dreads what we're all going to say and how we're all going to take him to task. We call out every single lie and distortion. But yeah, I mean, look, I think especially the freshmen on the committee, uh, we have an all-star team of freshmen that have come in 
Uh, I'm proud to be president of our freshman class. And, you know, these uh, young men and women are just incredible at calling out the lies. Yes, they are. Congressman Dan Goldman, whom we've recently interviewed and talked quite a bit about the failed sham Biden impeachment effort. He's one of them. Uh, Jared Moskowitz, Maxwell Frost, uh, Jasmine Crockett. These are all phenomenal freshman Democrats. And of course, you have AOC and all of these people together bring the fire. And they've even elevated the performance of you know, ranking member Jamie Raskin, who was always a brilliant debater and rhetorician, but now he's bringing the fire and the contempt and the wit and the savagery to the debates and turning it against Republicans as well they should. Now, I'll point out after this bombshell reporting from CNN was revealed, Jared Moskowitz, one of those freshman Democrats, took to Twitter to troll James Comer uh, when it was reported James Comer is, quote, hoping Jesus comes so he can get out, quote, of the Joe Biden impeachment inquiry. Jared Moskowitz replied with, I got you, James. And you know, quoted this uh, this clip from Talladega Nights in which uh, Will Ferrell's character, Ricky Bobby, prays to dear Lord, sweet baby Jesus. Um, Jared Moskowitz as well. He keeps doing this. He's like, I was hoping our breakup would never become public. We had such a great thing while it lasted, James. I will miss the time we spent together. I will miss our conversations. I'll miss the pet, <laughs> the pet names you gave me. I only wish you the best and hope you find happiness. Of course, what he's talking about is the iconic moment in which uh, James Comer was having a back and forth with uh, Congressman Moskowitz, and Mo Moskowitz was wearing a, a blue blazer, I believe, and Comer's like, you know, you look like a little Smurf down there, and you're smirking, and Dan Goldman, and just, so he called him a Smurf, and Comer, excuse me, Moskowitz is just run with it. Moskowitz is like the best at like redirecting attempts by Comer to insult him. So I think he wore a Smurf tie for the longest time as well, just constantly disarming and needling um, Comer. Again, I love it. I love that energy. More of that, please, from Democrats. Democrats, if you're watching, take this and run with it. This is the energy that you should always bring as long as the Republican Party is even within spitting distance of this MAGA cult. Bring the contempt, bring the wit, bring the humor, bring the disdain. We love it. But it's also the fact uh, for Comer, the, the bad news is also that the Fox Propaganda Network no longer seems to be quietly bankrolling this impeachment effort. So Media Matters reports that Sean Hannity, who is the biggest and most consistent fan of the impeachment effort against the president, hasn't mentioned the GOP impeachment probe on Fox in over a month. He told viewers to, quote, forget about the impeachment inquiry, end quote, then apparently did. Sean Hannity, whose primetime show long served as a clearinghouse for bogus smears of Hunter Biden and a promotional vehicle for House Republicans' efforts to impeach President Biden over them, abruptly stopped talking about the impeachment inquiry last month after it became an unmitigated debacle for the party. Hannity l last mentioned the Biden impeachment inquiry on his Fox show more than five weeks ago, according to a Media Matters review. Quote, forget about the impeachment inquiry side of it. It looks like they're moving on now towards the criminal referral side of it, he said on March 14th referencing a report about a planned GOP exit strategy from its probe, okay? And it said that the Fox host and sometime Donald Trump advisor promptly took his own advice. Yeah, so Comer has been flirting for weeks now this idea that he'll refer criminal charges to the Justice Department, which is currently being overseen by Merrick Garland, President Biden's political appointee. So if he thinks that the Justice Department is as much in Biden's pocket as possible, why would he assume those criminal referrals would go anywhere? And by the way, for what crimes? Hunter Biden is being prosecuted by his father's Justice Department. What crimes? Are Joe Biden? Did Joe Biden commit any crimes? And if not, who cares, right? This, and, and this is what Republicans constantly, constantly do. They conflate. They move the goalposts deliberately. They act in bad faith. They want you to believe that President Joe Biden is morally, politically, and therefore impeachably responsible for the actions of his son, Hunter Biden, famously a different person from Joe, Joe and Hunter being two different people. But Republicans, for their purposes, want you to believe that they're the same and just assume the worst and just make it grounds to impeach the president on. That's why this has been such a spectacular failure. That's why the James Comer is so desperate to get the hell out of here. A couple more parts of this article. Sources say the Kentucky Republican is now focused on tactfully wrapping up his work all while, all while Comer, a five-term congressman, has another matter on his mind. Ambitions to run for higher office one day, including potentially running for governor, according to lawmakers who have spoken to him. Quote, Comer is hoping Jesus comes so he can get out. Quote, end quote. One of the GOP lawmakers who spoke to Comer told CNN, quote, he is fed up.
And then it goes on like this. It's a really good article. It's got quotes from uh, you know public officials who have actually gone on the record, like Anna Polina Luna, who's crazy. Brian Mast, who's also crazy. He says, to me, success for this probe looks only like impeachment. Like they actually need to impeach the president for this thing to be a success. In which case, I say, good luck, buddy, because that's not going to happen. Uh, and then a bunch of quotes from lawmakers who uh, were granted anonymity to provide the information. But it's devastating for Comer. This has been a disaster. And it's an election year. And Democrats have an obligation to make Comer and House Republicans pay at the ballot box. Just squeeze this for all it's worth. Show the American people, hey, listen, rather than work on the real issues which matter for your benefit, for the country's benefit, Republicans have been trying to even the score on behalf of Donald Trump, who's at Mar-a-Lago golfing, this distant real estate billionaire from New York who currently resides in Florida. They're doing his bidding because they're a cult, and they don't want to work with President Biden and the Democrats, even on common sense, widely popular, wildly popular policy items because they don't want to be seen as giving Biden a political victory in an election year. They hate Biden more than they care about you. That's the message that Democrats should be selling voters on Republicans, and James Comer would be the poster boy for it because he's the very embodiment of it. Let me know what you think in the comments.